Yeah, I mean, I'm being part of Armenian, I, I know about the genocide and all that. And I know they won't even admit that it ever happened. They deny it, which is really horrible in my opinion. They can't even own up to their, their history. But, um, yeah, t Turkey just seems like such a horrible place from then till now for hundreds of years. Yeah, but if they confess they did the genocides, they did the massacres, then they cannot claim to be poor. They cannot claim to have the caliphate. They cannot claim to have the sharia. They, they want to say that they are perfect. But if you did a genocide, you cannot be perfect. If you do massacres, if you deny people's right, you know, if you, if you illegalize speaking Kurdish language, you cannot be a wise person. You cannot be a holy person. You cannot be a chosen person. But now the Turkish, prime, Turkish president is kind of saying that he is, he is on a mission given by God. So, you know, he is a holy person. But if he says, I did genocide, yes, I am part of it. I am guilty as much as my ancestors. Then, you know, he can have what he wants to, what he claims to. Yeah, who, who do you think is the biggest threat currently to the Kurdish people? Would it be Iran or Turkey or somebody other than that? I mean, Turkey is the biggest enemy of Kurds. Turkey is, even in the past, 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, it was forcing Iran, yeah. Iraq, and Syria to cooperate on anti-Kurdish policies. The Kurds fighting Iraq, they want to get their rights. Turkey goes to Iraq and says, no, don't give the rights to the Kurds. The Syrian government wants to give rights to the Kurds. Turkey goes and says, no. Same thing with Iran. In 1979, Ayatollah Khomeini came. The Kurds were very strong. Kurds were almost getting constitutional recognition by the Khomeini regime. But something happened and Khomeini became very anti-Kurdish. And I'm, I am very sure Turkey is involved. I'm like 100% sure.